Warriors Path State Park is the place to be this summer and Marty Silver is here to talk all about the fun summer events planned, including Dragonfly Day. Hey, Marty, thanks so much for joining us. Sure, great to be here. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, so Dragonfly Day. Let's first talk about this. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit about what this entails. Sure. Many people are fascinated by these insects and yet they're, they've also noticed that they're hard to see, hard to sneak up on. We brought in two experts that are going to come and spend a day teaching us, first of all, how to get close to a dragonfly to see what, what kind of bug is that. Right. Second of all, how to photograph them and partly to identify them. And a big part of it is how to learn what the different kind of dragonflies tell us about the healthy environment out there. So like certain species need cleaner water, some live in dirty water. They're all good because they all eat mosquitoes and other pest insects, but just something How to interesting. Yeah. That sounds so cool. And so that's open to really any and all ages, right? Pre-registration. Pre-registration. Yes, yes. And so how do people pre-register? Uh, so you can go on our, our website or our Facebook page and get, a, get the registration. There you go. There. All the information there. And it's kind of the kickoff for yeah. a whole summer of water-related events. You might have heard this little place called the Smithsonian Institution. Oh, just the little place yeah, in Washington, Yeah, there in Washington, D.C. Yeah. <laughs> they have a program called Museum on Main Street where they bring traveling exhibits. Typically, they bring them to small-town museums. This year, they're trying to experiment. First time ever, they're doing it through a series of state parks across Tennessee. Wow. And the first one is going to be this place called Warriors Path up in Kingsport, you know? So and so that's the first stop for this. Right. Yeah. Wow. Be there from June 24th through August 6th. And the whole theme is water, partly the natural side, a lot of it the cultural side of uh -huh. it, how water affects the way we live and pray and play, et cetera. A lot of interactive exhibits from the Smithsonian, plus we're designing some of our own things to go with it. For example, we're having a, an art contest. Local artists invited to submit their art with a water-based theme. We're having a special every Wednesday, we're calling it Wacky Wet Wednesday. Just fun <laughs> things for kids to go out, I love play that. water balloon, stuff like that. We have a Thursday night lecture series where local expert speakers are gonna talk on things like well, for example, we have a TVA speaker, a mm -hmm. fellow who's an expert fly fisherman, et cetera, et cetera. And then Friday mornings, or Friday, I'm sorry, Friday at one o'clock during the exhibit is a chance for people to come and record their own story of what, how water affected their lives. Wow. So it's history going on. So how there. long will waterways be available to the public right here? It's from June 24th through August 6th. Okay, so they have pretty much the whole summer. Right. Right. By the that's time school pretty, starts is when it moves on to the right. next park. Right. That's pretty cool. So you said that this is, they're kind of trying something out. The Smithsonian is kind of trying something right. out. And Warriors Path State Park happens to be. Yeah, we're the guinea pigs. The guinea pigs. <laughs> what does that mean, though? That's pretty cool that you guys are the first one well, you know, for this to come down. Part to of it is because they're trying to follow the path of water across. Water goes like this way across mm -hmm. Tennessee. We're up there in the northeast corner. Part of it is, I guess, because we're one of the, we're usually the most visited state park in Tennessee. We get over two million visitors. And partly because for the last 40 years, we've been carrying on a, a very successful summer in the park activity program. And this is just kind of to supplement that. So right. I should mention that too, shouldn't yeah, I? Yeah, let's talk about the summer okay. activities that you During all have During the planned. summertime, Tuesday through Saturday, every day we have some, well, here's the schedule to see it, but. It is um, a lot of yes, stuff just in this tiny little nature, piece yeah. of paper. And that's just two days worth right? right. Guided nature hikes, evening campfire talks, slideshows, uh, creek walks, all that kind of fun mm -hmm. stuff, wildlife demonstrations. It's all free, it's different each week. Myself plus one summer intern run the program over there. So wow. that's another c c reason why we're working these two together. That's wonderful. And so uh, all these people that can come and take part in these summer activities, like you said, it's free, but uh, for all ages too. Oh yeah, yeah. we try to design it where, where families can enjoy it together. It's not a day camp. Uh -huh. It's for people to enjoy families together. So. That's wonderful. And what and do you hope that the families kind of can take away well, when they come to these activities? Number one, the fun and pleasure of being outdoors in the great state of Tennessee. Number two, a little appreciation for the natural and cultural resource of the state. Mm -hmm. And number three, a desire to go out in their own neighborhood and discover cool things there too. Yeah, because really they're taking the tools that you can kind yeah. of show them. Or well, like for example, we did a program the other, last, last week. Um, one, well, we did a lot, but one of the ones was, was a, a digging in the dirt program. I had a Ooh. bunch of little kids come out and dig up chunks of dirt and pick them apart and see what kind of that Creepy sounds like a kid's are. like exactly. be, uh, best, uh, and then best day, comparison, right? what lives where, and then when you go home, and try the same thing. But the more important thing to make it a, a conservation mess, when you're done picking apart that mess, I mean, uh, <clears throat> that beautiful habitat, <laughs> Well, you got to put it back because right. that's somebody's home, you know. Or like we did a creek walk and all the adults and kids together in the creek catching the crawdads and uh -huh. the craw moms and the craw children and, and all the other cool stuff, stone right. flies. And then learning about their unique place in nature and then put it back in the creek. And then when you go home, you can do the same sort of thing, looking for things there. Or, um, well, we have, we have, for example, we have some captive owls that do some live owl programs. Now, they're not going to go home and look and catch an owl, but right. once they realize that, hey, the owl has a job, well, even that worm and everything in nature's right. job, and our job is to protect those things right. out there. So that's wonderful. All those connections. That's great. But the Dragonfly Day that kind of kicks off the Smithsonian, and when again is the Dragonfly Day? That's June twenty fourth. June twenty fourth from eight thirty to one. But wonderful. you must pre-register because we okay. have 
you know, good quality program for and people. And they can find, they can pre-register and find all the information on your Facebook On the Facebook, Facebook page, page or the regular or the website. page, either one. Yeah. All right. right, thank you so much. We appreciate so you appreciate having Marty. me. Marty, I've learned so much just sitting here. Okay. And congratulations on getting the Smithsonian to yeah, come to Warrior Congratulations Warriors. and sympathy both. Give us yeah, a Yeah, no, yeah. I think it's a pretty cool yeah. thing. Well, so, thanks so much. Sure. We so appreciate all the information to get in touch with Warriors Path State Park is right there on your screen.